When a town becomes incorporated, there's many firsts that follow, like the first mall that was ever built or the first development that went above the tracks. But do you ever think about something as small as the first city park? A designated green space that people said, no, 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 don't build there. We're saving this for recreation. So where was Point Claire's first park? Well, unfortunately, it's not there anymore. Point Claire's first park and playground, because that's how it was advertised in the paper, it opened up July 1st, 1926. It was Dominion Day. So what a day to open up a park. It was located just west of the pumping station on the corner of Cartier Avenue and Lakeshore Road. There was a big plot of land there that had been cleared and a bunch of new earth and sand covered the whole land, creating a beautiful view of Lake St. Louis from Lakeshore Road. The park was decorated with a six swing outfit and a four section seesaw. There was seats all over the place that had been donated by the townspeople. Four new lampposts were placed along Lakeshore Road and throughout the park, the lights were hung in trees. The opening day was a grand affair. It was a big day. It was Dominion Day, it was the opening of a new park. And they set up a stage and the mayor was there and the hundreds of people were there, both English and French. And many dignitaries were there as well. Clergymen, aldermen, and three ex-mayors attended. Mallet, Black, and Nebs. <laughs> Sounds like a comedy trio. <laughs> After a choral singing of O Canada by everyone who attended the opening day ceremonies, Mayor Ewing officially opened Ewing Park. That's right. The park named after the mayor who opened it. The councillors at the time thought it was fitting to name this first park after this great man. So who was he? Sidmar W. Ewing was born in Montreal and his family vacationed in Lakeside before moving permanently to Point Claire. By 1926, the year that the park opened, Mayor Ewing had already been very much involved in Point Claire's administration since 1911. He was a major player in the expansion of Point Claire, purchasing land from the parish of Point Claire. So it was only fitting that the councillors named the park after him right in the middle of his mayor run. Now, what I find interesting about this story is that not only was it the first park in Point Claire's history, not only is it not even there anymore, but it's actually in a location that people look at in a historical way, because it's exactly where the old post office was on the corner of Cartier and Lakeshore. But no one looks at it and says, oh, it's also the location of the very first park in Point Claire's history. And look how far we've come now with our parks and our playgrounds. This is what we're known for. So indeed it should be celebrated on the corner of Cartier and Lakeshore. When you're there and you say, oh, look at the old post office. Make sure you add, and my goodness, it was also the location of the first park in Point Claire. And I have run out of time for this endangered short. Have a happy weekend, everybody.